Hi everyone. Let's solve this question. This is also an, this is another question from the book database system by Ulman. Uh, and in this question, we want to find out whether this decomposition a decomposition is given to you. This is a non-binary decomposition, and this decomposition is it lossy or lossless? So this is what we need to check. Okay. So find whether this decomposition is lossless or lossy. Lossless or lossy. Okay. Using chess algorithm. So apply the chess algorithm because chess algorithm is very simple algorithm and this is correct algorithm. Whenever you have this, this you can notice this is a I can say this is a non-binary decomposition. So this decomposition is given to you and this is non-binary decomposition. So the best method that you can apply is a chess algo and this chess algo is very simple. So that is the reason let's uh, we are doing the practice. Okay. So first of all, you can notice what are the functional dependencies. So the functional dependencies are A determines B, B determines C, C D determines A. So A determines B, B determines C and C D determines A. These are the functional dependencies that we have. And now four attributes you have and three sub relations you have. So now you will create the table and in this table you can notice that there are total four attributes A, B, C, D. So we have four attributes and there are total three relations so you can notice r1 r2 r3 these are the three relations and finally i can say that you can notice in this sub relation we have two attributes a comma d so we will make entry here entry here in r2 you can notice uh, you have a comma c so you will make entry here entry here and b c d so you will make entry here entry here entry here this is the initial situation okay so this is the initial configuration that we have this is the initial setup now what you can see okay now we can notice that a determines b because a determines b so whenever in two tuples a value is same so in those tuples b value also must be same so in these tuples b value also must be same correct okay now let us see the next okay so finally this is what we got so in these two tuples in these two entries we got b comma b so let me put these entries here so this is what we got b comma b okay now what next from here what we can do so now you can notice b determines c what it means again here you can notice b determines c so if two tuples have same b value so they must also have same c value so here again you must have a because if two tuples have same b value they must have same c value so here also you must have a so this is what we got we got here a okay now what is the next step what you can do next now you can notice that the question is saying this another decom this another dependency cd determines a cd determines a okay so you can notice in these two rows you can notice the cd value is same so here cd is a here cd is a so in these two rows you can notice that the cd this cd value agrees so finally here in these two rows a value should also agree so in these two rows a value also must be same so this is what we got so i can write it okay so this is what we got so far Okay, now you can notice now we can stop here. Now what you can do? You can stop here because we got a row with all A entries. So this is a row with all A entries. With all A's, I can say with all A entries. So here you can stop and because of this row, I can say, okay, because of this row, I can say that you this decomposition is actually lossless. Okay, so this decomposition is lossless and very simply you can do using chess algorithm so this is how you can just uh, you can just solve this question using chess algorithm very simply okay and this same same question actually you can solve using the uh, i can say the successive decomposition method also Su successive combining method also you can try to solve it but the best method is the chess algorithm so you should apply the chess algorithm because this is a very simple method and it is very time efficient you can notice it will not take much time this is very simple method okay Okay.